Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring a screen of the day by Thang LD69 called Leaves Android. Here it is, as you can see it's been optimized for a Note 2, but you can make it work for pretty much any phone. Let us see what this screen is all about. So let us have a closer look at this home screen. As you can see, this amazing leaf background gives that calm and serene feel to your phone. If we have a look closer, we can see these shortcuts on the right hand side here. And just by simply tapping save for email, if we had to tap the icon or the shortcut, it would bring up your email. And then say other stuff like your database, say for your file explorer, just by tapping that, will bring it up pretty, pretty cool. And if we have a look at the bottom here, we can see we've got quite a lot of useful information. We've got our time, our date, as well as our day of the week here. As you can see, it's got a quite, quite a cool looking red effect, as well as these icon shortcuts just above them that when tapped will also open up any shortcut that you would like. So, you like what you see? Well, let us begin with today's home screen tutorial. All right, starting from our stock SS launcher. That's right, we'll be using SS launcher again just because our previous tutorial also used SS launcher. And I want you guys to try it out for a bit. It's a really good launcher. So, starting from stock, as you can see, we just want to get rid of our, if there's any widgets that are at the bottom. Next, we want to go into our options here and we're going to go into our preferences. We want to select full screen because we want the, obviously it to be full screen. And that's it for the preferences. We want to go back now go back into our options and then go into our theme. From here we want to go into label. We want to scroll down and we want to select hide labels, apply changes, there we go. And that is our theme complete as well. So we can just go back now and there we have our clean screen ready for the wallpaper. So let's move on there. So for the wallpaper it's going to be a bit tricky for the Nexus 4 because obviously you got your soft keys so that's why I'm going to be doing it on this phone. So first you want to go into your applications like this and then go into your file explorer and then you want to find where the the image called a is which is basically just your how the screen is going to look like as you can see everything's already been set up just for the uccw skins now you want to set this as your wallpaper if you're using a phone that doesn't have soft keys if your phone does have soft keys like this nexus 4 you want to go you want to go back open it as photo editor this also works well if you're if it's just not looking well for your phone size and you want to open it up using photo editor which is a great app next you want to select resize fit you want to select width and now you want to take off keep aspect ratio and change it to the aspect ratio of your phone if you don't know what it is you can just go into gsmarina.com and just search for it there it's really simple so as you can see I made my Nexus 4 720 by 1184 1184 is to amend the soft keys at the bottom it just makes you get rid of those basically so you'll just select whatever it is select the tick and then save it as either a JPEG or a PNG and then it is done now you can go back so if you're using other phone that doesn't have soft keys you can just pretty much go and set your wallpaper but for example, if you got the soft keys like the Nexus 4 or the HTC One X, you want to open it in Wallpaper Wizardry. You can also use Image to Wallpaper, pretty much does the same thing. And you want to set it, it will select the set button. Now there's so many options to choose from here, you just basically have trial and error or play around with it. But I like to go Crop and then Crop Portrait. You want to select No Scroll, if it comes up with any options just say don't show this or never show this again now as you can see what the crop portrait does is crops it to the size of your portrait screen if you're using a Nexus 4 though you might be cutting a little bit off the top though but it's not such of a big deal the most important is keeping the bottom so now when you say select set and it sets the wallpaper now and you just minimize this as you can see this is no longer cut off at the bottom which happens a lot on Nexus 4 phones, especially with those soft keys. So there we go, there is our wallpaper set up. If you scroll across now say to your say to your applications here, you don't want to see any of that. You can just go into your preferences again here. See these are all the different options for each one of the pages. You want to select the one for applications, select the little image folder, select add an image, select this the, the blank wallpaper and just select it again 
and then select it once again and then it'll be set as your wallpaper. You can also do this for any one of the other pages that you want. See now if we scroll to our applications, looks much, much better. Great, so now we have our home screen set up with the wallpaper. Next we'll be moving on to the icons, well the shortcuts. Okay, so for these shortcuts, it's it's probably one of the easiest methods to set up with SS Launcher. It's much easier than Apex or Nova, and I'll be showing you right now, especially if they all blank PNGs. So you wanna hold down on the home screen, new shortcut, and you wanna go straight to style. You wanna select the icon that doesn't have a background, you just wanna select that one. You wanna select the icon now, you wanna select the icon, follow that again, and go add an image. Now you want to copy a blank, the blank PNG provided below onto your phone and then just select it. So obviously it shouldn't show anything and you'll just select it for the image like that. So we're just going to go apply settings now. Scroll down again and say apply settings once again. Obviously now it's going to be invisible, you won't be able to see it. If we just hold it down, select it, you can pretty much, you don't actually need desktop visualizer at all for this launcher because you can resize it exactly to that icon as well as positioning it directly over it like that. So once that's done, you want to hold down on it. You want to select copy and now what's great, you can just select hold down again and go paste. So you might just have to resize it again, but you got all the grid lines to line it up. Hold down again, paste, put it over there and you just keep doing it for all of these on the side here and yeah, it's quite quick and easy to do like that. As you can see, you got the little joystick as well. Also remember, if you would like to change any of these, it comes with a PSD, allowing you to edit all of these in Photoshop. Great, so once all of these have been set up, you wanna do the exact same to the bottom now. You just wanna hold down, select paste. Obviously you don't want a long, long icon, so you can just make it a little fat square there and put it over the phone. So now you wanna hold down on this one and go copy, hold it to the applications and then go paste. Boom, just like that. Next, you want to be doing it to all of these along here, even doing it to the time and calendar if you like. Great, so once all of these have been set up, you might notice that we didn't select what these are going to be opening. So you just want to hold down on each one of them. You want to go edit, you want to go type, make sure that it's application, target, and now what's great is that you can select any one of these applications that you would like to open. So for Gmail, we just select Gmail like that, scroll down, apply settings, boom, set up like that. Tapping Gmail opens up, or either email opens up your Gmail. So you wanna be doing that for every one of these. So for music, like just give you another example, you wanna go edit, target, it's, been re it's ready an application. You can just say play music, scroll down, apply settings, boom, set up like that. You wanna be doing it for all of these, as well as for all of these as well at the bottom. Obviously for your application or your app folder, you wanna hold down on it, select edit, but now for the type, you want it to jump to the page and then for the target, you wanna select applications, go okay, and then go apply settings because now once you tap it, boom, straight to your app draw, pretty legit. So once that's been set up for all of these, we'll be moving on to the UCCW skins. All right, so finally for our UCCW skins, you wanna hold down on the home screen, select new widget, and it doesn't really matter what size you choose for the UCCW widgets, but you do want to kind of get it in proportion because SS Launcher is slightly different than other launchers. So for the bottom information widget, I just went for a five by two. And you want to use the, you can use the edited version that I'll upload in the link below called Leaves Info. So you just need to tap away and then select the touch here. And obviously it's a bit small, but SS Launcher is so cool. You can just resize it how you want. Now you can just position it again with this little joystick, get that precise gridless position right there. So once that's been set up, as you can see what I've done, you can add my, if your location's too long, you can either resize or make the font smaller or just add in your custom location. Doesn't really matter at all. Next, you wanna be adding in the one next to it. You wanna hold down again, new widgets, a two by two UCCW skin works well and the leaves underscore cc would be added there so same thing it's quite a bit bigger so let's just make it a bit smaller and just use the joystick to resize or to reposition get it exactly how you want it great so once your uccw widgets have been set up you want to hold down on each of the, you want to just hold down on them and say to back because obviously if you do that for both of them 
it's going to send them to the back and you can still get to your phone or whatever you want these little shortcuts here bam and that is our home screen setup for today hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial please remember to subscribe to the my color screen channel as well as the google plus facebook and twitter communities thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing mm -hmm.